Jericho Sims, Derek, at Texas Longhorn. How did you, um, what, what did you think about that pick at, at 58? At 58, I really like that pick. It makes a ton of sense. Uh, he's a guy that we thought was going to go in the 50s. I saw Texas live a couple times this season. Mm. One of the most impressive athletes I've probably ever seen up close. He just bullies people down in the paint. And it's not only does he have you know Dwight Howard's shoulders where he can just push you around if he <laughs> wants to, he can also go up and over you with ease. I'm sure everybody, now that Knicks fans have seen the video of him, you know, hitting his face on the rim yeah. at his pro day. And he's going to have to work on his hands a lot. Um, the, you know, the soft skills of, of catching the ball in the block, passing out of out of the block in traffic. He's going to have to work on those things. He's just kind of a bruiser, more of like a bully and a lob threat at this point. Mm. But again, that athleticism will get him on the floor. I'm excited to see him catch lobs, which I'm sure you guys will see here in the in the highlights. Just once he gets the ball in the dunker spot, there's nothing you can do. Just plain and simple. You have to have a guy who's either str as strong as him or can jump with him to be able to do anything. Um, just going to have to refine a lot of the skills before he gives you like legitimate meaningful minutes will he improve his skills so i mean he, he was on mo bamba's team right as a freshman i believe he was a freshman yeah so yeah. i remember watching mo bamba film and then seeing sam's thinking like okay this kid once bamba's gone he's going to be a stud he did not get any better like he played with jackson hayes he seems like he's been the exact <laughs> same person for the last four years I mean, as a role man, he's great. He's probably, you can make a case that he was the best role man in, in the country. I just didn't really see any development with him. And you would think that the way the league is going, a guy like that with that type of athleticism as, as a vertical lob threat, I mean, we've seen guys that do the same thing, get drafted higher than him. So I was wondering why he stayed four years. And then the fact that when he did stay four years, I didn't really see much improvement. Texas hasn't been the best fit as far as with floor spacing, because they really had like two fours out there with them. Mm. I think it's, I mean, definitely a good pick at 58. It's a steal. I think him, he may be a better NBA player than he was college player with spacing. If there was one knock on him, I would think with that athleticism and that vertical pop that he would be like an elite rim protector, but he's not, he's good, mm. but he's not like this great shot blocker. Interesting. Jer Jericho Sims out of uh, Texas. Yeah, average 1.1 blocks per game, 9-7 and seven on the campaign, so almost 70% from the field. I got to think the Knicks would probably – I mean, we'll, we'll see what, what he does in summer league and things like that, but I got to think he, he'd be a two-way candidate, maybe start off in the G League and, and go from there. I got to think with, with Mitch and Toe that they will uh, still go vet you know, to kind of support him there. I don't see them uh, putting money in, in Noel. You know, maybe maybe you find a JaVale McGee or something like that. But uh, with Sim Sims is certainly an interesting prospect indeed.